Hi guys, so you might have seen by now that I've done quite a few booktuber recommendations videos. However, I don't just watch booktube channels and I would love to recommend to you my absolute all-time favourite YouTube channels which are not predominantly centred around books. This covers channels that go from comedy to politics and somewhere in between and hopefully there's something for everyone in this video. I mean if it was up to me I would have you subscribed to all of them because I think they're all fabulous and some of them in particular need a lot more subscribers than they have in no particular order. First I'm going to mention Jazza from Rhyming with Oranges. Now I have been subscribed to Jazza since before I had a YouTube channel and I don't just mean this YouTube channel, I mean my first ever YouTube channel like almost six years ago. I love his channel, it's absolutely fantastic. He makes videos about politics and social issues. He's just one of the most well-spoken, considerate YouTube channels I have ever watched. He both does videos where he shares his own opinions, but he also does a lot of videos which try to be very neutral, open up the floor for questions, and present information to you in a factual, accessible, but interesting way, which I think is so, so important. I wish he ran his own news station because I would watch it and I would trust it and I would feel really comfortable taking information from it. But until that happens, I'm happy watching his videos and I would highly recommend that you all go and check them out as well. For example, some of the kind of videos he's done in the past, he's talked about LGBT issues on YouTube and he's um, done videos um, presenting the manifestos of different political parties in the UK before elections to give people an idea of what these parties believe in in a very unbiased way. He did one of my absolute favourite videos I've seen on um, America and the up and coming election and Donald Trump um, which honestly was absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend you all go and watch and I think it's really important. There's tons of videos on his channel that I think are fabulous but those are just a few that I think sum up his channel quite well and yeah like I said go and check him out. Next up is Rowan Ellis. Now I know we talk a lot about diversity on YouTube and in booktube and our reading but if you really care about diversity and want to watch some informative and discursive videos on the topic then you have to check out Rowan's channel. She talks a lot about like I said diversity particularly in film she talks about LGBTQ plus issues and representation in the media. She also discusses feminist issues and oh my god her videos are incredible they must take such a long time to make and i'm so impressed by every single one of them everything she does is incredibly well researched she clearly knows her stuff when she's talking about it and if you're a fan of pop culture the media television film and youtube then if you want to watch some really insightful videos about those industries and areas of entertainment then you have to check out Rowan's videos. For example, she's done a whole series of videos on LGBTQ plus tropes in the media. She's done a whole series about women and witches in television and film. She's tackled topics like the casting of Hermione as a black woman in the new Cursed Child play. And it does not end there, I can't, again, I can't list them all, but there's a few maybe to spark your interest. Next up is the channel, for those of you who are particularly looking for a good laugh, I am going to assume a lot of you are already subscribed to this channel, but it is Tyrannosaurus Lex, or Lex Croucher, who, as you might have been able to guess, does mainly comedy videos. I really like her sense of humour. It's very dry and tongue-in-cheek and I really enjoy that. Her videos are usually very short format, quick, easy to consume, but also very clever and I really enjoy them. Again, another YouTuber I have been subscribed to potentially since before I even started making videos. And to let you in on a, a little secret for those of you that love books, which I mean, presumably as all of you, sometimes she talks about books too. She does also occasionally do discussion videos on social issues as well. So lots of things to get your teeth into on her channel. Again, another channel I would highly recommend you check out. But if we're talking about comic channels on the YouTubes, then nobody makes me laugh more than John B here. It honestly personally offends me that he doesn't have more subscribers. I, I just cannot fathom it. He is so funny. I absolutely love his videos. He ju they just make me laugh every single time. They're clever, funny. Again, he's often quite dry in his humour and 
I, I don't know what else to say other than his channel is hilarious. <laughs> I don't know how to sell it to you other than that. But John himself is a big supporter of small YouTubers. He even started up a whole um, project called Flush the Tubes, which is to promote smaller YouTube channels. So I'll also link um, that Twitter down below so you can maybe find some more channels if this isn't enough for you. He also likes to satirise YouTube and the standard video content as well which he does really well. He is just such a clever comic. I'm gonna call him a comic. He, yeah, he is just such a clever comic and I really enjoy his videos. I mean, what else can I say? Next up is Feminist Frequency and this is a bit more of a professional YouTube channel. I feel like all of the videos are almost like mini documentaries but really enjoyable nonetheless and really thought provoking. And the channel predominantly looks at video games and generally popular cultures, representation of women, sex, sexism, I mean it's called feminist frequency, you can kind of gather what the intention is, but it's so, again I feel like I repeat myself in some of these turns of phrase, but it's so well researched and so well presented and you'd think it couldn't be trolled and throwing a hissy fit at it, but sometimes I feel like the better, the more constructive, well-researched, intelligent videos on social issues are the, the ones that get the most hate and it's probably because it makes people feel insecure about their prejudices and they don't like it. If you want to see some just truly, truly good content on YouTube then Feminist Frequency, highly recommend. On the topic of more professional channels I want to mention Owen Jones. Now Owen Jones is a professional journalist, he writes for The Guardian, he's published multiple books, specifically Chavs and The Establishment and like you I am instantly mistrustful when mainstream media and journalists get all up in YouTube because they often do it completely wrong their channels are a flop and they're embarrassing to watch. <laughs> this is not the case for Owen Jones. Owen Jones knows what he's doing. He's an inc incredibly clever young man and journalist. I respect a lot of his political views. I find myself agreeing with him on most things. Um, but I also particularly like the way he presents everything. Again, very accessible, very intelligent. His videos are just an amazing commentary on current politics, particularly in the UK. But elsewhere too. He knows no boundaries. <laughs> and if you're already a follower of his writing in newspapers and um, books and you didn't know he had a YouTube channel, well there you go, you must go subscribe because he's just fantastic. Um, he recently interviewed Michael Moore on his channel and but generally he just does face to camera videos like you know most of us do and they're just absolutely fantastic. Love his channel. Next up is Bri and Candice. Bri and Candice are a married couple who actually have their own channels. I've mentioned Candice before in a booktuber recommends video because she often uh, talks about books on her channel, obviously, and that's called Candy Something and Bri is a musician who publishes his music on his YouTube channel, but they have a shared YouTube channel where they film videos together and I love them. Their videos are fantastic. They're often quite funny, so if you like funny videos then highly recommend checking them out. They travel a lot. They're, Bri at least is trying to visit every country in the world, so they're kind of ticking them off. They're, they're doing all right. I think they're in the 60s now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but so they also take the camera along on their travels. Uh, but a lot of the time they just sit on their sofa and answer questions that they've had, talk about being young and married. They just really spark off each other really well on the camera and their videos always turn out really well. They I always enjoy watching their videos at least. They always make me smile and on occasion make me think and I, I really enjoy watching them so I would recommend you go and watch them too. I mean if you're not already, maybe you're all already subscribed. Lastly for this video I'm going to mention Lucy Moon who is a bit more of a traditional vlogger like when you think of people I think like Charlie is so cool like you know old school YouTube who do a variety of different videos often just contemplating what's on their mind and uh, Lucy Moon definitely falls into this category although she's also experimented a bit with creating short films and she's a very 
she creates very beautiful artistic videos um, on many occasions. As like everybody in this video, I just really enjoy watching her videos. I feel like there's a really nice diverse selection on there and I always get different things. She's actually running a book club with Lena from Just Kiss My Frog who's a booktuber and Hannah Witten who has a channel where she talks about like sex ed and stuff like that. And this is, and the book club's called The Banging Book Club and all the books are about sex. So if you're looking for another book club and some more books to check out, there's another place for you to go. But like, like I said, there's definitely a bit of everything on Lucy's channel and she's just a very endearing person. So if you if you look for that in your YouTubers, then I would recommend her channel. And I think this last one a lot of you will probably be subscribed to and that is Fran Nerd, who is an illustrator and she illustrates a variety of things. She does lovely videos where she'll go and visit places like museums and kind of document her day through illustrations. It's absolutely beautiful. She does a lot of videos of her drawing and doing art projects if you like that kind of thing. She also talks about being a creative in the in the illustration industry. She illustrates children's books and she talks about that process. So if you're a arty or creative person then it's definitely another channel for you to check out. I mean I'm not an arty person despite I'm sure my mum absolutely wishing I had gone to art college. <laughs> um, but I still love her videos. Again very aesthetically pleasing. Another very endearing person behind the camera and just another channel I love to watch. I mean that's the reason we're here isn't it? To talk about channels I love. But I think it would be fair to say that those are definitely some of my absolute favourite YouTubers at the moment and many of them have been for many many years now so I just wanted to make sure you were all aware of them too so that you can go and check them out. I hope you've found some new channels for this video and in fact if you have any recommendations for channels you think I'd like based on this selection then I would love love to hear them. But in the meantime happy reading and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!